Here we have the travelling canteen of Prince Charles Edward Stewart, or as we affectionately know it here at the National Museum of Scotland, Bonnie Prince Charlie's picnic set. This was made for the young prince who was in exile in Rome with the rest of the Stuart family in about 1740 to 41. We know this because it's been marked and dated for an Edinburgh silversmith, Ebenezer Oliphant. It was made for the prince who was very keen on hunting and would be used when he went out on, on the chase. It was a much prized object and he brought it back to Scotland when he came over to Great Britain in 1745 to claim the Three Kingdoms on his father's behalf and was then left uh, abandoned after the Battle of Culloden. Not only is this a very beautiful object, it's actually seditious as well. Why is that? Well, here we see on the cartouche in the front the Prince of Wales feathers. It's also been chased with the thistle and the, the leaves of the Order of the Thistle. Charles Edward Stuart had been made a Knight of the Thistle as an infant by his father James VIII. Oliphant came from a long line of Jacobite sympathisers. In fact, members of his family came out, as they say, in 1745 in support of the young prince and his father. This object was not destined for the Hanoverian court in London, but was probably commissioned by a still anonymous Jacobite sympathiser to be sent out to the Jacobite court in Rome. This is a statement of loyalty to the exiled kings over the water. We also know that it's related to the Order of the Thistle because on the top here we have the badge of St Andrew. So this would be the collar badge of the Order of the Thistle. So it's an object which is absolutely drips in iconography, but it's seditious and would be dangerous to be found with, which begs the intriguing question why Oliphant felt he could mark his name on it, perhaps because the object was destined to go abroad to join the Prince in the exiled court. In terms of its purpose, it has all the accoutrements of, that a young prince would expect. The knife and fork, a little dish to taste wine, and of course, most importantly, the corkscrew to open the bottle of wine. But perhaps not for a modern day palate or modern taste, the little spoon has as its handle a marrow scoop.